there's a shopper out there He's shopping for all the deals So if you see a sale price Do exactly what they say I wish I was choking But every integrator be choking Secret shopping with ladders and blues yeah, that's good. <laughs> Another faulty pre-built. Any ideas, Sebastian? Aluminum case, uh, mid-tower footprint. Mm, that could be anyone. The laptop over there has footage on it. That's a secret shopper. You've cracked the case. Not yet, but to review it, I'd like to go somewhere a little cleaner. That's right. It's secret shopper time again, and this year we're sponsored by Ugreen. They have tons of great charging solutions that we use here at the office all the time, from their super cute Nexode RG 30 watt chargers with smart charging display, to the big boy 300 watt five port power delivery GAN fast charger with thermal guard protection and a flame retardant protective shell. No matter what you need to charge, Ugreen has you covered. Just like we've got you covered when it comes to buying a pre-built. We sent secret agent Nautilee on a mission to procure $1,500 computers from some of the most common system integrators on the market. All the same guys as last year, now with Starforge. Ooh. Have things improved? Let's find out. Oh, really? You know, they were the worst last time. Maybe they've gotten better. The perfect Dell is the one you build yourself. <laughs> so why am I shopping with Dell? Download the latest music. Build the ultimate... Download the latest music. Okay, this was from 10 years oh, ago. Oh yeah. Download the latest music. Thank you for calling Dell Sales. My name is How can I help you today? Hello, uh, I'm looking to get the best gaming desktop PC for my budget, which is about $15,000, which sorry, oh. so $1,500 uh, tax okay. in US. I could, I could hear the salivation through the phone line. Ooh, Ooh. 15 grand sales commission. May I know if you're looking to purchase in US or Canada? This is something we should address. While some of these brands will ship from their US site to Canada, allowing us to have an exactly apples to apples budget, for some of them, you do need to use the Canadian site. So we used a converted budget, about 2000 Canadian dollars. So that I can make a recommendation, may I know what would be the day-to-day -day usage on the system? Yeah, uh, so I'm looking to play some games on it, use it just for personal use. I stream sometimes, so mm -hmm. that would be nice if it could do that. This is good though. Yeah. What will you use the computer for? Yeah, gaming. Solid. A little bit of streaming. Some yeah. normal desktop use. Any particular specification or a specific graphic card you're looking for, or you're fine with anything with suits your usage? I actually really like this question. These days, there's at least two legitimate choices in pretty much every single category. Yeah. And if somebody has a preference, why am I trying to push something on them that in the end, if they're not happy with, is now my fault? Yeah, especially if they've got stock. Like I've got a few personal brands that I try to just avoid for yeah. my own reasons, you know? Yeah, I, I game and then I stream sometimes. So whatever you would recommend based off of okay. what I'd like to do. Sure. Uh, may I know which games you would mostly be playing? Wow. That's a good question. Their script has improved a lot. Yep. And you wanted to stay within 2,500. Oh, well, that's not what she said. Uh, just 2,000 Canadian. 47 seconds. The best uh, desktop would be the Alienware gaming desktop. Uh, we have different options in that. Okay. Things are falling apart a little bit. The best Alienware gaming desktop is the Alienware gaming desktop. <laughs> I'm not convinced that you have a great understanding of the product line here, but let's see. Let's see where we go from here. It would be slightly on the higher price range. And the games which you've mentioned, we already uh, told they you are price basic range. games which would be great uh, on, so it will not require that much of uh, intensive program. She's right, because she mentioned she is, but why did she just tell me it's higher priced if what I'm playing is not intensive? <sighs> but if you're planning to add more games later on, then we can consider going with the Alienware. It comes with the right hardware and cooling system. So for a basic option in the Alienware, we have the R15 gaming desktop. You don't really need the i7 with the 3060. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. No. 
much. This is priced at two thousand two ninety nine ninety nine before taxes. Uh, I unfortunately need to stay pretty near my mm -hmm. budget of two thousand dollars. That is three hundred dollars wow. more than our budget. Oh yeah, that's too much. Alienware starts at twenty three hundred Canadian. No, because we bought something, so they must there must be a cheaper option. Why would she present that to us? Unless they're instructed to go for 10 to 15% over a stated budget. So XPS is also a good... Uh, I don't know what XPS is. And the XPS, we have an option on deal right now. It comes with the 12th generation i7 processor, NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti graphic card, this is on a clearance sale. It's priced at $1,899.99 before taxes. It's basically right under budget. It's 100 bucks under. Okay. And she got a 3060 Ti this time. Allow me a minute here. Two minutes later, we got a quote. Yeah. That is... It's not bad. Good. They've, they've sped up a lot. So the totals after taxes, uh, it would be $1,781.14. Yeah. That sounds right within my budget. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, I think I gave you the wrong uh, one. Okay, so earlier I mentioned the option for $80.99, right? Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't 100% remember, maybe? <laughs> okay, because we have two options. Uh, okay. One is with the RTX 3060 graphic card, that is priced at $15.99, that is also on a sale. Uh, that is the RTX 3060. And uh, the one for $80.99, it's the RTX 3060 Ti. Whoa, so it's like an extra $200 to get the TI? I was going to say something completely different. I'm more upset that this is $400 less than the Alienware that they quoted and has the same GPU as that. Yeah, what are, this, what are they getting? What are you paying $400 for? Oh, you get a fancy case. It looks like an alien. I'll quote you, email you that as well so that you can compare them side by side, okay? Okay, okay thank you. You know what? That is a really good way of handling accidentally giving the wrong quote. Yeah. Like send, send them both. Hey, uh, yeah, whoops, sorry about that. Here's both and you just let me know so that you're not putting pressure on the customer. Yeah. It also includes an optical drive. Hey. And uh, it comes with a McAfee Live Safe 12 month subscription as a part of the promotion included in the price. I would uh, personally recommend you to consider the premium support warranty. It includes support for both hardware and software related issues. If she asks once, it's okay. That's okay. That's a script. And it does include software coverage. She, she knows she what to expect. It, yes. Uh, thank you, but no, I'm okay. Okay. It says order complete. Thanks for your order. Sounds great. Thank you very much. In around 20 minutes total, we've waited on hold, explained our situation, been coached through some of the different options, and we've managed to place our order. That is not bad. Yeah, super reasonable. And only one offer of extended warranty and no offers of financing which is not actually what I was asking for last time. You can offer it, just yeah, not three it. times. Yeah. Now, just a second. If I recall correctly, CyberPower has gone full failure to launch in the past, outright refusing to provide any recommendations. So the good news is they can only go up from here. Yeah, we'll see how they do. CyberPower, now can I help you? <laughs> Hi, uh, I am looking to purchase Jeez. a a uh, gaming PC, uh, and I was hoping you could help me figure out uh, what I can get with my budget. Sure. Um, what you're looking for, maybe, like, let's start with that. Totally. Uh, like, what I, kind of system first? Like, uh, what kind of system? Like, uh, maybe the specs-wise or the price-wise? Uh, so, my budget is about $1,500. Mm -hmm. His microphone needs to be replaced I know. yesterday. But in all fairness, I actually really like how you can't hear like the call center background. All I can hear is him. He needs a better mic. Um, maybe what kind of game? Like, uh, like, uh, like game wise, like, uh, like shooter game. Uh, I play like Minecraft, Overwatch, uh, Stardew Valley, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Really good question though. Shooter game. Yeah. It, he, good question. Could have asked it a little better, but yes, it's a good question. All right. In the front page, um, there is a system called Daily Deal 4060. That one is very good. It is already it has an i7 already, and a 4060 graphic card, and a 16 gigabyte and two terabyte M.2 hard drive. This is absolutely going to stomp. 
the machine that Dell oh, yeah. recommended. 4060 versus 3060 Ti. Well, okay, hold on. That's not <laughs> that big of a difference, unfortunately. <laughs> That's been a whole thing. <laughs> it will significantly outperform a 30 series card with DLSS or with ray tracing. Yeah, frame generation. And if I, yeah, it looks like that's a 13th gen processor as well. I also want to give massive kudos to the sales rep for going straight to what was on a deal. Yeah, for real, yeah. Don't try to sell me some higher priced, you know, crap that you guys are trying to get rid of when the best deal is the one that's right on the front of the website. Great, and this will fit under my budget because it's on the deal, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can even go higher. Uh, like in customization page, let's say you want to change the case to something you like different color or... Um... He's clearly identified the kind of customer that he's dealing with and he's offered options that will be meaningful to that customer. Yeah. That's either good training or good sales instincts right there. Yeah, he seems to know what he's talking about. Cosmetically, you want like something different. We have options like that too. <laughs> he just needs a better mic. <laughs> it's not awful, but it's not good. It's pretty awful. It's pretty bad. Uh, great, yeah. It's mostly the, just the credit card stuff from here. Um, mm -hmm. Great, thank you so much for your help. Oh, no problem. Yeah, call back anytime. Okay, have wow. a great rest of your day. Look at that, that was like five minutes. Wow. Now, I will say this. Now, this is not a bad customer experience, but if I was going to give some advice to CyberPower's management, he should close that sale. <laughs> Don't let yeah. someone get off the phone when you can take their money. But is that just how they operate, though? Because so many people, like I said, they've got the website they up. They shouldn't operate like that. That's a business. They should close the sale. I don't disagree, but that's a, it's a business decision. Close the sale, CyberPower. All right, HP. Welcome to CanadaHP.com. Is this our Center. phone? For service in what English, the heck? please press 1. It fixed itself. Hi, thank you for calling HP Canada Sales. Welcome to our back to school sale. My name is How may I help you with your purchase today? Hi, uh, I'm looking to get a gaming PC, uh, and I was just wondering if you could help me out. Sure, I'd love to. May I know if, uh, do you have a specific model in mind? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's totally fine. I'll, I'll be helping you out, and don't worry, I'll be asking you a few questions. She's cheery, she's bubbly, she's a little bubbly. Uh, do you have a specific specs in mind, or specifications? Uh, for the uh, RAM, processor? I don't have any specific specs in mind. Um, I, oh, how I know about a game a little bit. She's so excited to offer a recommendation, though. You mentioned that you were into uh, Minecraft and also, uh, you know, video streaming. Uh, I just want to confirm, are you into more on saving a lot of data aside of that? Doing what a data? Saving a lot of data. Oh, do you need a lot of storage? I think she's asking about she's recording video. She's the first one to ask that. Yeah, and it's a pretty good question. That's a great something. question. Yep. Do you consider some graphics, memory and graphics in mind? For example, four gigabytes for the graphics to ensure the display of the system? Or That is a great question, no. and I would mm -hmm. love your advice on it. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> well, ideally, I... <laughs> if you were into Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, I'd love to share it with you. Thank you so much for trusting me. Um, well, we have, uh, ideally for, uh, for gaming, me too, but I have a brother who's using, uh, who's gaming on Minecraft as well. Um, he has a four gigabytes, but, and based from him, he, he's uh, doing well with that laptop. Well, that is not an HP. Full points for honesty. Yeah. She is genuinely digging into her personal experience to provide the best advice she can. Is it the best advice? Not necessarily. The frame buffer on your GPU is not the most important thing. No, especially At these all. days. Well, not in the way that she thinks it is. Sure. And how about for uh, for the memory? Is she asking about memory again? She has, she's mentioned it quite a bit. I gotta give her full points for trying, but this feels a little bit like the blind leading the blind right now. I would have liked to see HP have a better support structure for this. They clearly have a phone rep here that mm -hmm. is hyper enthusiastic and genuinely wants to help the customer but they need internal resources where she can go, hey, let me put you on hold for a second. Look it up. Go look it up or go ask somebody and come back with a more informed suggestion. Yeah, I don't mind being on hold as long as it's not for more than like five or 10 minutes. Yep. And how about for the processor? Do you have an idea with processors for your tower or? She is desperate for Shay to have a preference for this computer. 
Yep, I have here Omen by HP. I should hope it's by HP. Yep, this is the Omen by HP, 25 liters, GT12-1309. The liter doesn't, you know, we don't care about case size, but she does get to the actual... Really, that's the first thing you're going to tell me? It's the internal volume? I'm sorry, am I buying milk? Okay, I, I'm on your website. And I'm on Perfect. the desktops. Omen, I believe. Uh -huh. 25 liters. In fairness to the rep, whoever the product manager it's is right for there. HP who works on their site. Yeah. Why is the case <laughs> volume? The case size the first is the thing. first thing in the product description. So she's just reading it. That is that's, terrible. You know, that's a that is a multi-level breakdown here. I really appreciate her saving us a bunch of money. We are way under budget here. Is that oh, Canadian that's dollars? 1300 bucks, yeah. Wow. It's a 3060, so it's going to be a little behind the TI. And a 5600X? But at 1300 bucks, that's a way better deal. Canadian, yeah, that's really good. Haven't checked storage or anything yet. Yeah. No hard drive, no optical drive. That's fine. It sounds like a really good deal, but is there, could, mm -hmm. if I spend closer to my, the max of my budget, uh, which is the $2,000, mm -hmm. could I get better specs? Sure, I'll let me go ahead and have a look on that. Sure, let me go find a random computer that costs that much. And I'd love to know, how was your day going? I'll show you. Uh, it's going lovely so far. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> I got a well, uh, wonderful tea I'm here. Guessing. How's your day going? Oh, uh, really great. Actually, uh, this you're one of the nicest customers that I speak with today, and I'm really grateful for this call. Aww. <laughs> That's the reason why I wanted to know your day, and thank you so much. <laughs> I believe her. Yeah, she seems pretty sincere. I believe her. She's gonna end up with a crappy computer, I think. Well, but she's gonna have a great time. Look at the look on her face. She is She's enjoying a happy customer. buying it. Yes. She's a happy customer. Uh, the reason why I, d I recommend to you this one, um, it has a better uh, motherboard or processor. This will be the best performing gaming PC we've seen. 3070 Ti. Yeah. 5800X, I think that's it. Yeah. Above all, the, high, um, the reason why we choose this is because it has a better support system for the overall performance of the PC. The cold hard truth is that this sales rep doesn't know anything about computers, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, probably not. She needs internal support. She needs a bit of training. She does a great job of making sure the customer has a fantastic experience, but she needs yeah. some help. We do also have a care pack or like an extended warranty, which is the HP two-year on-site hardware support service for this desktop for only $474.99. <laughs> Did she just offer me a $500 warranty Canadian. on this computer? Canadian. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. A $350 US dollar warranty? Uh, right now, uh, Shaya, are you ready for the good news? <laughs> All right. I, I have... am ready for the good news. <laughs> Perfect. So, yep, I have here, um, as you see here, we have a 37% off for this uh, specific omen. So I can provide to you an up to, hold on, yep, additional $200 off. Yo. How was that? <laughs> The free money. I'll take 200 bucks off. That's amazing. Oh my yeah. gosh. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. The sale is already made. Okay. That's a big deal. Offering someone a discount up front before you've taken their payment information. Okay. Sure. Offering someone a deal after you've taken their payment information. That is Sigma tier customer Above service. Above and beyond. Let's talk about this video's sponsor for a second, Ugreen. Ugreen's Nexo to RG is a 65 watt GAN charger with a friendly little face that lets you know when your device is charging. It can charge all your devices like phones, tablets, laptops, and more. And at 65 watts, it's able to charge up your iPhone 15 to 60% in just 30 minutes. And when charging is complete, the friendly face will change to let you know that you can unplug. The unique design of the robot GAN is also a protective shell for added durability. And of course, the RG employs all the Ugreen tech that you expect, like thermal guard protection, which checks temperatures 238 times per second, and GAN fast tech for fast, energy efficient, cool, and compact devices. You can pick up one of these new RG chargers from Ugreen today by using the link and the code in the description below. I have a feeling this won't be quite the same. Thank you for calling that by power. How can I help you? Hi there. Uh, I'm looking to buy a desktop PC, uh, and I was hoping that you could help me figure out what would be best within my budget. Uh, of course. And okay, so to start, uh, what is your budget? Oh, he's got the one I hate when you can hear. Dang it. it. It's bad. Oh, man, going from 
to. Hi. How are you? I'm on a computer. And uh, what will you be doing on the computer? Gaming, uh, coding, work? Good question. Good start. Uh, it's for personal use, uh, but for gaming, definitely uh, things like Minecraft and Overwatch and Stardew and stuff. Quality is good otherwise. This is just like five as well. So there's two ways that we could go about it. Uh, there are RDY systems that we offer. Uh, these ones are already packaged up, built, tested, ready to go. Uh, they ship out the next business day and they have two days shipping. Uh, you cannot alter these in any way. They are just sold as is, uh, but it would be the fastest way to get a system if you need one now. It's also going to be a little bit cheaper than a custom computer, uh, as a custom computer might cost a little bit more, even for the same uh, specs, uh, because we do build those made to order. That's a really, really good explanation of my options. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. I think the first, then, if that's the easiest gotcha. route. All right. Uh, are you on our website right now? I think so, yes. OK, so what I have done is uh, I went to uh, RDY pre-built computers on the top of the page. And then the two that I am looking at, they're right next to each other. Uh, one of them is the Gaming RDY EMRRG213. Oh, my God. Oh, I do not like their naming for this. No. OK, uh, so those are going to be the two systems that we're going to be looking at. 4060 like Ti, though. And I like that he's given us two options here. Uh, both like under budget and then one a little cheaper if I want to save a bit of money. That's not bad. Yep. Uh, the CPU that's in the SLM BG221 is an Intel i7, uh, which is a step above the previous or the other CPU in the other system, uh, which would give you the benefits if you definitely are going to be streaming. He addresses her use case. He explains why the parts he's chosen are valid for her. That's a really clear explanation of why more cores is more good. Yeah. The the better one that you were talking about looks mm -hmm. like it would fit under my budget. Yeah, that would be the better one. Uh, and it's mainly just that CPU, like I said. They're essentially the same. I believe the case is different. Uh, so if the case is going to be a deal breaker, then go with the other one. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds great. And then, uh, of course, all of these computers, uh, they can be upgraded uh, in the future, uh, down the road, if you ever need to make upgrades. Especially because he said originally that these come like pre-built as a unit. I'm glad he clarified that. Oh, okay, cool. Great, that's good to know. Yeah, uh, did you have any other questions? Um, I, I don't think so. I can just buy it through the site. Yeah. Buy it through the site. This guy's great. He just needs a new microphone. Yeah. If you have any other questions, uh, even before you purchase it, just go ahead and reach out to us. Uh, we are here to help you out. Once again, doesn't close the deal. Close the damn deal, bro! Thanks for calling me. You're this is you speaking. Hi, uh, my name is Shay, and I'm looking to get a desktop PC, and I was hoping you could help me out with that. <laughs> Absolutely. So were, were you looking at something specific? Um, you had probably something in mind that I can help you with, or I could just give you some general suggestions as well. That's good. Really low pressure. I like yeah. that. I have a budget, and that is all I have at the moment. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that, that 100% works. So, um, yeah, for that, we could definitely take a look at uh, one of our energy ones, like the pre-configs. Um, the only thing that I would, um, that I wonder, right, is um, uh, the fees, right? Because once you're importing to Canada, there's um, shipping. Wow. I am detecting a genuine concern for the value that I'm going to be getting out of this transaction. I feel extremely cared about right now. Yeah. No one else mentioned that. Um, but there's also import taxes, right? Which typically come about like 10, 15%. Mm -hmm. He just walked me through all the additional fees that could surprise me yep. and set a budget that's gonna keep me within yep. my total target. That said, uh, the gold, it's right around that price range, just 12.99 US. So, like, just taxes themselves uh, themselves would actually bring um, you know the system up to like fifteen hundred bucks US in shipping. But it's it, I would say it's still around that you know price range you're looking for. Um, is that a system you're interested in? Uh, yeah, I think if if that works, um, the shipping and this stuff uh, it still feels pretty close to my budget. So, 
I, th I th that sounds good. I think. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And I mean, you know, it's just an option. I know that, you know, shopping international could be, you know, challenging you because know, you do have those extra uh, um, uh, fees right there. So he is doing the most humanly possible to talk us out of getting a bad deal here without just explicitly saying, do not buy from me. Yeah. Go away. Run. Yeah. DMG1 and then it's going to be uh, the gold. 46 Ti. It's not even that crappy. No. But we definitely skimped on the CPU. It's a 13400. KF too. It doesn't even have onboard graphics. If you're, you know, you're running to memory, uh, like high memory usage, then you'll probably be worth like upgrading that RAM later on. This is too jargony. He's an A minus now. Yeah, she's He's already slipping. getting bored. She's tuning out. Yeah. Great. Thank you for the recommendation. So I, I have it open here and I will just press add to cart and great. I guess I just go through the the steps of checking out. And if you have you know any questions whatsoever, um, any help setting up, uh, anything of that nature, we're always here to, to help all, all Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. I am not surprised that CyberPower and iBuyPower didn't close the deal. I'm very surprised that Main Gear didn't close the deal. Really? Why Main Gear? Because from our experiences with them in the past, they're pretty well trained, very professional. Yeah, he knew what he was talking about. And it's been start to finish. Mm. They don't have a shopping line for NZXT. No sales line. Yeah, so we had to call a support line and we weren't even sure if they'd be able to help us or not. Interesting. I mean, I'm not even upset. I'm a lot more upset if you don't have a support line and you yeah, do right. have a sales line, but like, I know it's 2023, but a lot of people still like to call in and get advice. Yeah. Hi, thank you for calling NZXC. This is how I help you. Hi, my name is Shay, and I have been looking on your website for a gaming PC, and I, I would kind of like some help here. <laughs> of course, yeah, I can definitely help you out with that. Is this uh, your first time buying a PC? Uh, a PC? Yeah, it's my first time buying my own PC, yes. Also a great question. First time buying or not? That's a really a good people, question. That'll really tell you a lot of like whether they need hand holding or not. Awesome. And then what kind of PC are you looking for? Is there anything like you're um, trying to achieve with, with this new system? Um, I want to use it for gaming. Okay. Would you know what resolution you'd be playing at? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, 1440p. And have you had a PC before? Are you like impartial to certain brands or? Uh, like uh, CPUs or anything like that. Ah, oh, what a great way of asking that. Yep. This guy's gonna get poached. <laughs> so in my opinion, I would most likely want to go for a pre-built system. That way you can just get the most from your money without having to pay for any service fees. Immediately goes straight for the best value having identified that this is not a particularly picky customer. Yep. So I would probably recommend one of the the player the player one prime. That's a pretty good system, and then you could also like um, change some components in it. Perfect. Yeah. So I would either recommend the player two system, uh, not the prime, because that would just be a little bit outside your budget. They're going to crush the performance if they can convince Shay to spend another hundred bucks, or if they can offer her a deal. I mean, we just use regular components that you could get purchase yourself. Um, so you're more than welcome to upgrade these systems in the future if you, you know, if you'd like. Brings up upgrading, well. Yeah, I just see the player two. It's uh, one thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars. So it's a bit outside of the fifteen hundred dollars U.S. budget. Like it oh, would 15, be. Okay. Well, 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 no, it's two thousand Canadian, but that's like about. I think if I'm doing my conversions correctly, it's about fifteen hundred U.S. Yeah, roughly. That's what I, I, I'm seeing at least online with online conversions. About two thousand dollars Canadian is just a little under fifteen. So if I click the player one, um, and then I, which of the there's it seems to be a bunch of different collections uh, or different choices. In regards to that, if I were to so make any changes to your system, um, I would probably just upgrade the CPU. Um, it just allows, it's just at a higher clock frequency. It also, I believe it has more cores, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it, it will just perform a little bit better, especially with games like Minecraft, I would say. I'd probably recommend that too. 
12, okay, he's already got the 4060 Ti, yeah. and that's the highest end they offer on this system. Yeah, get the 12600K, which is yeah. a significant upgrade over the 12400F. Honestly, I'd take the 12400F and a 4070. For 14, she told him 1440p. Yeah, she did. You're right, it's not 1080p. Um, just do note, so there is an international shipping fee. Uh, I believe it's $100 for, uh, to ship from the US to Canada through our website. And then since we don't charge you uh, any taxes, um, you may incur a customs fee when the system is being delivered to you or attempted to be delivered to you. Okay. For someone who supposedly works in product support, Knows about computers. Well, not just that, but he warned us about import duties yeah, and stuff. Yeah that's, yeah, that's a good point. Outstanding. Like, who is this guy? Might as well be a sales rep. Yeah. yeah. OK, well, great. Right, Was there I anything can... else I can help you out with at all, or any other questions or concerns? Um, I, don't think, I don't think so. I'll go through the procedure checkout stuff. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Main Gear stood out so far head and shoulders above the rest in the past. Not as much this time. It's not the case anymore. There's been like no hold times too. Nothing lo longer than like two minutes tops. Thank you for calling Origin PC. How can I help you? Hi, uh, my name is Shay and I am looking to purchase a gaming uh, desktop PC. My budget is $1,500 uh, US. So for desktops, I don't believe we have any that would go that low just because we're a high end. Did Shay just get called too poor? Yeah. Well, in a nice way. In a nice way. We don't have anything that fits in your budget. So all of the parts that we have are parts that came out last year or this year. How does that make any sense? That doesn't mean anything. If anything, last year's parts should be cheaper. Lower end for us would be 1700 with the $200 discount. So we wouldn't be able to make you a build that low or at the 1500 USD. The rep sounds really uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, she does. She doesn't want to tell someone, hey, I'm sorry, you can't afford our premium products. But it would be either under our gaming desktops, it would be either under the Neuron gaming desktops, so I would say just play around and see if you can find something that would work for you there. But otherwise, it wouldn't be able to be lower than that for desktops. OK. Uh, thank you very much. I'm, I'll, I'll take a look, and I'll call you all back if I need. To Origin's credit, they have performed extremely poorly at our budget in previous Secret Shoppers. And maybe there's a degree of honor in just kind of bowing out yeah. and hey look if this price point doesn't work for your margin model just kind of going okay then we're not doing forget it. it if we're not competitive we're not going to sell something that sucks but look at the look on Shay's face disappointment so we ended up emailing Starforge because we couldn't find a number to call them with uh, just asking if there is a number to call because we want to purchase a computer and they got back to us uh, so they said, thank you for reaching out. We appreciate your interest uh, in us here at Starforge sincerely. I'd be happy to help make a recommendation for one of our systems based on a few factors. They asked what our budget is, what's the use case for our system, if we're gaming, creating content, streaming, or using it as a workstation for creative processes like 3D art. And then the last question is, what are our space constraints with the system? No one else has asked about space, space constraints. constraints. Well, yeah. HP made a point of, uh, Calling out how many liters their computer was. So we are replying to them, letting them know our budget is $1,500 US. Personal use is for internet surfing, as well as gaming with games like Minecraft, Overwatch, and Stardew Valley. So Starforge responded. Oh yeah, this is like, like right away. Half an hour, 10 minute yeah. response times. So like, okay, we couldn't call, but. That's really fast support. email support. Yeah. Uh, they said, hey Shay, sure thing. Based on your wants and needs for a new system, I would highly recommend our Horizon 2 Prime. This system will perform fantastically in all of those use cases, especially in the gaming titles that you mentioned. For such, if you have the interest of pursuing more of your streaming endeavors to a greater depth, I would make the suggestion. What is this email? <laughs> for the Horizon 2 Ultra instead. This would allow for your stream to look flawless because of the additional VRAM. Okay, 
They've made good recommendations, but what's their pricing? Cool, okay, so it looks like we have Horizon 2 Prime, which is $1,349.99 US, and the more expensive version that he suggested was the Horizon 2 Ultra. But no! Ooh, ouch, $2,099 US. Hey, you couldn't help noticing that uh, you don't have enough money for this system, but I'm gonna send it to you anyway. We're going with the Horizon 2 Prime because that fits within our $1,500 budget. It's like, you know, I hear your budget's $1,500, but we also offer this $3,000. When you compare that to the reps that were concerned about shipping and taxes and duties affecting our, our budgetary requirements, but you know what? This is like sheer zero Fs given. Yeah, I don't know, here you go. One's in budget. I am very excited to see how these stack up in terms of performance. Unlike previous years, there's some trade-offs here that I'm looking at going, yeah, depending on what we play, this could be a pretty close race. Especially now that both DDR5 and DDR4 are both still on the market and being used in all of our systems. I'm also really interested to see how Starforge's build quality has improved since last time. Sure. I found errors that I had to fix the last time I bought a computer from them. And they said, we're, we're taking this very seriously. Yeah. Well, let's find out just how serious they take it. Yeah. That's it for now then. They're ordered. We're gonna see what shows up in a week or two, but first, we got to talk a little bit more about today's sponsor, Ugreen. Ugreen presents the world's first 300 watt five port GAN charger with a dedicated 140 watt output. This allows you to fast charge multiple laptops at once, streamlining your charging setup. You can charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro to 56% in just 30 minutes and power up to five devices simultaneously. Their thermal guard system ensures protection against overheating, overcharging, and excessive current with a robust flame resistant shell. And their GAN technology is super efficient, which reduces wasted electricity. It also comes with a premium design with a sleek space gray matte finish and a convenient two meter power cord for flexible placement. You can check it out at the link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe go check out some previous Secret Shoppers. There aren't any more parts of this one to watch yet, but they will be coming hopefully over the next three to four weeks. So watch out, system integrators. We got our eye on you.